Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be talking about the heart anatomy. And yes, I know I've done a video like this before, but today we're going to be drawing the heart from my mind. After um, a lot of practice, a lot of memorization, I have finally gotten the heart anatomy down in my mind. So today we're gonna be working that and we're going to look at the heart anatomy and the physiology by drawing a heart. Okay, so let's draw a heart. So I have my paper right here and we're going to be, we're going to start with heart anatomy. Heart anatomy. And um, by doing this, we're going to be drawing a really, kind of curved line like this. And I'm gonna curve it another one. This would be our SVC. So what is the SVC? That is the superior vena cava. And we're gonna draw two big lumps. It's like, it's like a camel's back. And it will be like this. This would be our heart. This will be the apex. This will be the apex. And down here, there would be, because this is the SVC, the superior vena cava, this will be the IVC. IVC, inferior vena cava. And um, now we're going to be drawing, we're going to be dividing it into four. It will be the left, right, left, right, atrium and ventricle. So because we're looking at it like this, the right would be on our left side and the left would be on our right side. So it will be like this. It will look something similar to this. This will be the left, the right, sorry, the right atrium. And this will be the left atrium, left atrium. And this will be the right ventricle and left ventricle, be like this. And so now we're going to start with the PA, which is the pulmonary artery. And it will go, it will pass through the left, it will go from the left atrium down to the right ventricle. It would look something like this. This is the PA. We're going to go down to the right ventricle. So um, this is the pulmonary artery. And we're gonna write that down, pulmonary artery and it takes blood away from the heart. So the pulmonary valve would look like this because it takes blood away from the heart from the right ventricle. And um, this is the pulmonary valve, as I pointed out. And now we're going to um, continue with the aortic valve, including the ascending aorta, arch, and descending aorta. So that would look something like this. This is a little out of proportion, but some people have big aortas. So this is the aorta. And the aorta, remember, it would always go down to the left ventricle. So it looks something like this. It is also taking blood away from the heart, from the left ventricle, away from the heart down into the body. And um, so this is the arch, arch right here, this arch. And this is the ascending aorta because it goes up. And the descending aorta is vice versa, it goes down. And fr from the ascending aorta to the descending aorta, um, there are three divisions. So what are these three it's called? Um, so from left to right, this is the brachiocephalic. So we'll just label it as B. And this is the carotid, so C. This is the carotid. And this is the subclavian artery. Let's label that down. Subclavian artery, so S. Um, and down, so this would continue going down. We'll, we'll just 
not draw that out specifically. So the right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, and left ventricle, there must be valves for the blood to flow through, through the heart, in order for the heart to work, to pump. Um, so in order for that to be done, there's two more valves here. So um, that would be the mitral, or you could also call it the biscupid valve, and there's the other one that is the triscupid valve. So the triscupid valve, always remember, it's on the right. So, and because it pumps from the right atrium to the right ventricle, so it would look something like this down into the right ventricle. Mm -hmm. And then um, from the left ventricle to the left atrium, there would be another valve, and that would be the biscupid valve. It looks something like this. And there would be a division here. So the heart would look something like this. This would be the apex. It's like the pointy tip of the heart. And this to review, superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle, pulmonary artery, oh, I forgot something, the pulmonary veins, that would be right below the PA, so that would look something like this. They would be a little smaller, and there's two pulmonary veins. looks like this one two one two they're connected and um it would go into the heart and that's where it will be exchanged out into the um and become like carbon dioxide in order for the lungs to exhale and and then the cycle goes on so it goes in superior vena cava inferior vena cava aorta arch ascending aorta descending aorta Brachiocephalic carotid subclavian arteries, three divisions of the aorta, and the pulmonary artery, pulmonary veins, pulmonary veins, pulmonary veins, pulmonary veins. Uh, this is the, on the right, so that's the, on the left, so that's the biscupid valve, and this is the triscupid valve. So that's gonna be it for drawing our heart anatomy. This is our heart. No, this is our heart. Yeah, that's the heart on the left. And fun fact, right before the video ends, um, the heart actually pumps. It doesn't go like, it goes like, it twists. So it goes like, yeah. Okay, that's just a fun fact. Okay, so remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you, and see you next time.